please welcome Simon to share um, his thoughts on how the video is transforming society. Thank you. So recently, I've been doing a lot of things which are very adult. I gave a TEDx talk, which will be available at some point on the TEDx YouTube. I'll let you know when it is. I handed in my thesis, which despite the fact that that's basically what this channel has been built on, apparently I talk about my degrees too much. And most recently, I, um, moved house. <laughs> Yesterday, I got dropped off uh, by my dad, very kindly, in a big van, uh, and I moved in with my best friend. So... Who's that? Oh, did I don't tell you. <laughs> yeah, Dan's kind of stay, sorry. <laughs> so Pixel Girl and I have uh, got a house together. This is kind of a big scary adult moment. Uh, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about being this, this adulty. We've already unpacked the bedroom, everything's, we built the bed. Pixel Girl built this set of drawers by herself. I told my mum that and she was just immediately like, marry her. And then as a couple's relationship building activity, we, uh, built this Ikea wardrobe together, which was a five hour fun experience. But now, priority is getting the computer up and running so I can get back to work. Before that though, all of these have got to go up in the loft. Ooh, do you want me to reach that? I can't reach that. I'm expecting little bats to come out. <laughs> Hello? Okay, there's a light switch. <clears throat> huh, okay. Should we put the boxes up here? Yeah, I can pass them up. Yeah, that's probably best. There we go. This attic reminds me of spending time with my dad because we used to have a model railway up in our attic. This feels like a very parenty thing to be doing right now. The loft is for parents. How do I die on camera? Oh, what's that? Ah! Oh. <laughs> You've just broken the trap door. You've oh, actually God. broken the trap door though, look at this. Wait, can you say I am? Oh, right, that's a bit better. Oh, uh, no, I don't want it to look like I like you. Oh, God. <laughs> At what point do you become an adult? I've been thinking about this. You're older than me. Now let's get busy. Get in my office together. Ow! All right, that's a lot better. First shot, done. Coke Zero, obtained. Freezer. Four. 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 Books. It's, um, we'll get to those. And we are moved in. Something that you realize, I think, when you get older is that you have always thought that people older than you whether that be a few years older than you in, in school, or your teachers, if you're a student, or, you know, your boss, if you've got a job. I think everyone just kind of assumes that older people have got their shit together. These people know what they're doing in life, where they're going. They are adults. Capital A, adults. Presumably, some of you think this about me. And let me tell you, despite the fact that I've uh, moved in with my girlfriend, and we've built IKEA furniture together, and we did our first grocery shop together in the car. <laughs> At no point did a little light bulb go on in my brain and say, you're an adult now, son. That's not to say I still feel like a child. I definitely feel kind of grown up, but not, I don't feel the way I thought adults felt when I was a kid. Does that mean I'm not an adult? Bear with me, I've got to go somewhere. Today I have gone full Casey Neistat and I have been flown to Frankfurt for just today, I'm flying back this evening, uh, to meet with the people at the Central European Bank. They have a pretty phenomenal set of offices here, including some fantastic views from the top. I'm making some videos for them, in fact in two weeks I'm going to a conference in Portugal uh, and uh, making some videos about economics. So apparently they work sometimes here at the uh, Central European Bank. We've just been having this meeting. Uh, I'll let these two continue to play. We've just been having this meeting about the videos which I'm going to be making. Uh, as someone with no knowledge in economics at all, apparently I'm perfect uh, to provide this layperson's perspective. So I'm coming in to talk to a bunch of PhD students. Uh, about their research in um, well, global economics, which is going to be really fun. 
all of these capital A adult things have been happening to me, but at no point has somebody, either recently or over the past couple of years, tapped me on the shoulder and said, you're an adult now, because that just doesn't happen. Adulthood is defined by what you do, not by a tick box or anything. Like so many things in life, I feel like we look for an easy set of criteria, like life is a game. You collect a certain number of collectibles, you complete a certain quest, and then you are an adult. But it doesn't work like that. Adulthood is defined by what you do. I think at the end of the day, adulthood is difficult to define because life is difficult to define. It's messy, it means completely different things to different people. I guess that just enough of the things I've always associated with adulthood happened in rapid succession recently, which made me think maybe, maybe I am, I'm an adult. But what I've come to realize is that more than these things happening to me, like being flown out to Germany, it's my reaction to these, what I think of as adult things, that actually determines how adult I am. And I think in how we've moved house, and how, you know, preparing to give a talk, in preparing to go and meet with the Central European Bank, I've been acting as, I think, adults acted when I was a kid. And I think now, for the first time in my life, I've crossed over into that boundary of feeling and being I feel like a capital A adult. And I guess I just wanted to make a video about that, really. Also, just to update you on everything that's been happening, because it's been a little bit nuts. Uh, that TEDx talk in particular, that will be available, like I said at the start, um, on the TEDx channel. I will share it on my community tab, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you ding the notification bell, because I think you need to do that to get notified when I like post something or to see it in your feed. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really interesting talk. Obviously I'm biased, but I would love for you guys to see it and give me your, your thoughts on what I had to say. On that same trip up north, I also filmed a super interesting video, which I can't wait to edit, on a really interesting computer at the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester. And yeah, that's gonna be coming out in a couple of weeks. Also this month, there's gonna be uh, some stuff with the Yogscast, hopefully. There's gonna be some vlogs about Pixel Guy, Pixel Girl and I's new life. So all of this traveling and the moving house kind of explains why things have been a little bit quiet on this channel. I've also been focusing on my thesis corrections, which are nearly done. I've got to finish writing them up. Um, so yeah, this coming month, there'll be, a, there'll be a lot more stuff coming out on this channel than the past month. Hopefully, this should be now the new normal and uh, lots of videos from interesting places on different topics in science and also some vlogs and um, a book video coming soon, I promise. There's, um, I've been reading a lot recently and I'm, I'm keen to talk about it. Anyway, this has gone on too long. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do comment with your definition of when you think you became an adult or if you didn't consider yourself an adult, when you think you will become an adult. I think it's different for different people. Perhaps I'm a particularly late developer, but I wanna know your thoughts. My my favourite part about being a YouTuber is this interaction that we can have. So let's make the most of that. Please do leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you again for watching. Do like the video if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe if you're not ready because I've, there's so many cool things lined up this month. It's I cannot wait for you to see some of the stuff I'm working on. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be fun. I'll see you in the next one.